Hello and welcome back to Take Refuge 3D with me Peter and in this video we're going to go over what's new in Angon Pro version 1.4 now I have made a few changes um, all for the better uh, first of all I have removed the easy remash panel if you want to continue to use that you'll need to use it in an older version of Blender um, with an older version of Angon Pro and just while we're on that topic, Angon Pro 1.4 um, only supports uh, Blender 4 and up um, due to it relying on some um, new features or newer features of Blender such as um, the Blender internal packer. So what we'll do is it's an Engon. So the purpose of Engon Pro, if you're not um, been following my channel, is it's an asset um, or a plugin that is designed to easily turn an Engon or a quad based mesh um, into a game ready or texturing software ready um, asset, basically as a one click optimizer. Now it hasn't been a one click optim optimizer for a while. Um, uh, but I have reintroduced a one-click low poly button. So we'll sacrifice the cube. Okay, we'll go over to the Plasticity Blender Bridge plugin. This is not a tutorial on how to use the Blender Bridge. I do have one of those on my channel. Um, I do have Plasticity open over here with a uh, another asset in it. So um, we'll bring that one through. So we'll click refresh in the Blender Bridge. Give it a second and up will pop a preview of our asset now we need to select everything okay and we go down to this refacet tab and we're going to refacet just with default settings as an ngon mesh okay and if we come down to once that's been refaceted we'll come down to ngon pro and we'll turn our wireframe on so we can see that that is an ngon based mesh now um like i said the new feature is the uh, the one click low poly okay and what that does is it's going to create a low poly okay if you want to work object by object still you can still use these buttons down here if you want to just do everything all at once um, then feel free to um, use the one click button um, same with the high poly button um, and then if you want to refine everything all of those tools are still available so what it does is it creates a low poly and then it does this uh, function which I've updated or this command which is unwrap combine and pack so it unwraps all of your objects combines them into one texture and then uses the blender internal packer to pack it um, and a smart UV um, unwrap so what we're going to do is we'll change it to 66 just to the default okay and we'll just do a one click low poly now there's a lot going on in the background so it will take a little bit longer than normal um, to do everything because it's adding a bunch of modifiers and then running a bunch of algorithms but it will happen in one click so just Hold your breath and it'll be done. Okay, so let's click this. So now that that has unpacked itself and um, unwrapped itself, you can see that we now have a triangulated mesh. Okay, we turn our wireframe off. You'll see that it's got surface normals that are now a little bit janky. You can use the refine panel so I could select this one and um, refine this to a level that I'm happy with okay because you'd probably be baking the normals in anyway um, something like that would be fine um, and then if you want to paste uh, that value to any other thing you can okay so now that we've got everything let's just open this up all of our objects and we'll look we'll see got, we've got this unwrapped okay and packed so um, that's all good in that regard okay and you'll see that I mean it's a bit of a funny mesh to unwrap you might want to unwrap this another way um, as well um, I, I did uh, do more of a manual unwrap when I made this but you can see that it's been packed um, as well so that's great so if we just look at a normal UV smart UV unwrap um, we'll make it like for like okay and then we look at that and it is not packed that well so if we go back to how we had it a couple of steps so you can see that that's all packed 
okay using the blender internal packer so that's great um, the other change that I've done um, to Engon Pro is um, I've reworked the whole uh, renaming um, conventions so previously you could rename objects one at a time now if I've got them all selected and I'll go silly fan okay and give everything a rename okay it'll just rename to everything silly fan and then I can also um, rename the um, and add an underscore low suffix okay and if I click rename high it will rename all of the objects all at once and it'll delete the other suffix so we could do that and then we can remove the suffix entirely okay so I reworked that and so everything's been put in a, fold, a collection called low okay um, and there was a bug previously when you remove the modifiers and backups so if we turn our wireframe on and we remove everything we can see it go back to how it was um, that it wouldn't get rid of the low collection that you see up here so now that that bug has been fixed as well so if we click this it'll get rid of that um, and put everything back where it was okay and all of those uh, backup versions so we're back to the beginning and we can start renaming or or modifying this again and that um, is pretty much the update um, if you've been thinking about buying plasticity um, uh, or diving in there's a free trial on the website it's an absolutely fantastic software for doing um, hard surface models um, and it's really artist friendly if you're not familiar with it so there's a free trial on the website and if you do decide to buy it um, you can use the code refuge 10 to get a 10% uh, discount at checkout okay so back to blender um, and that's essentially the new features obviously things like um, the vertex color um, we can add a vertex color to everything or single objects um, and if we go into edit mode we can just do it face by face um, so we can quickly change that to paint selected faces only um, well, it should work oh, add the vertex color yeah there you go so um, it's got all of these refining features that we've got um, in here um, as well from you can look at my previous videos about that you can still merge all the vertices and whatnot so thanks for watching buy Engon Pro download your free trial of plasticity and and if you decide to buy it you can use the code refuge 10 uh, to get a tasty little discount and I will see you all in the next one choose